we know that President Biden's failures don't stop there. His reckless spending dug our economy into a hole and sent the cost of living through the roof. We have the worst inflation in 40 years and the highest credit card debt in our nation's history. Let that sink in. Hardworking families are struggling to make ends meet today. And with soaring mortgage rates and sky high childcare cost, they're also struggling to how to plan for tomorrow. The American people are scraping by while President Biden proudly proclaims that Bidenomics is working. Goodness, y'all, bless his heart, we know better. I'll never forget stopping at a gas station in Chilton County one evening. The gentleman working the counter told me that after retiring, he had to pick up a job in his 70s so that he didn't have to choose between going hungry or going without his medication. He said, I, I did everything right. I did everything I was told to do. I worked hard, I saved, I was responsible. He's not alone. I hear similar concerns from fellow parents, whether I am walking with my friends or whether I'm at my kids' games. But let's be honest, it's been a minute since Joe Biden pumped gas uh, ran a carpool, or even pushed a grocery cart. Meanwhile, the rest of us see our dollar, and we know it doesn't go as far. We see it every day. And despite what he tells you, our communities are not safer. For years, the left has coddled criminals and defunded the police, all while letting repeat offenders walk free. The result is tragic, but foreseeable. From our small towns to America's most iconic city streets, life is getting more and more dangerous. And unfortunately, President Biden's weakness isn't just hurting families here at home. He is making us a punchline on the world stage. Look, where I'm from, your word is your bond. But for three years, the president has demonstrated that America's word doesn't mean what it used to. From abandoning our allies in his disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan to desperately pushing another dangerous deal with Iran. President Biden has failed. We've become a nation in retreat. And the enemies of freedom, they see an opportunity. Putin's brutal aggression in Europe has put our allies on the brink. Iran's terrorist proxies have slaughtered Israeli Jews and American citizens. They've targeted commercial shipping and they've attacked our troops nearly 200 times since October, killing three US soldiers and two Navy SEALs. Meanwhile, the Chinese Communist Party is undercutting America's workers. <laughs> 